Who was Pablo Escobar? Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar's ambition and ruthlessness made him one of the wealthiest, most powerful, and most violent criminals of all time. Pablo Escobar was born December 1, 1949, in the city of Rio Negro, Colombia. His father was a peasant farmer, his mother an elementary school teacher. Pablo was a handful even while at school. He used to steal tombstones and used to sell them to smugglers for a price. It was his childhood dream to be a millionaire by 22. Ambitions burned from a young age. In the early 1970s, he turned into a thief and a bodyguard and he made a quick $100,000 on the side by kidnapping and ransoming a medallion executive before entering the drug trade. His next step on the ladder was to become a millionaire by working for contraband smuggler Alvaro Preto. In 1975, Escobar started creating his own cocaine empire. Initially, he personally flew shipments between Colombia and Panama to smuggle into the United States. Later, Escobar had a whole fleet of airplanes and helicopters, including a Learjet. In March 1976, at the age of 27, Escobar married Maria Victoria, who was 15 years old. Together, they have two children, Juan Pablo and Manuela. Escobar created and lived in a luxurious estate called Hacienda Napoles. In the same year, he was arrested by Colombian authorities in possession of drugs. However, he got out by bribing the arresting officers and the case collapsed. This was the beginning of a policy that endured throughout his reign. A paid cop turns a blind eye. Under his leadership, large amounts of cocoa paste were purchased in Bolivia and Peru, processed and brought to the United States. Escobar partnered with five or six other illegal entrepreneurs from the Medellin area, forming the infamous Medellin Cartel. Escobar eventually dominated over 80% of the cocaine shipped to the US. He became one of the 10 richest people on earth. Those he couldn't bribe, he killed. Hundreds, perhaps thousands of police officers were murdered on Escobar's orders simply for doing their job. Escobar may have been a criminal, but he was also a hero to the poor of Medellin. He built many parks, hospitals, schools, churches, sports stadiums, and frequently distributed money to the poor. He even provided housing to local communities to ensure nobody went homeless. To this day, many see Escobar as a Colombian Robin Hood. When the origin of his wealth became an issue of public debate, US started pressuring Colombia to extradite him. Using terror, Escobar tried to influence Colombian politics towards a non-extradition clause and to grant amnesty to drug barons in exchange for giving up the drug trade. His terror campaign claimed the lives of politicians, civil servants, journalists and ordinary citizens. It turned public opinion against him and caused the breakup of the alliance of drug traffickers. After one year in prison in 1993, Escobar was killed in a firefight with the Colombian police. The fatal bullet wound was right above his ear, the exact same place where Escobar told his brother he would shoot himself if he were ever cornered. The truth will always remain unknown. For more bizarre facts, make sure to subscribe to our channel.